Welcome back to More Outdoors. I'm Jason Moore, host of More Outdoors. This is going to be the first video in a series of gear reviews I'm going to do on some fishing tackle for this spring and summer. Uh, this last Christmas I picked up two of these Pixafun Flame 2000 reels off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description down below if anybody's interested in buying these reels. They vary in price. I think I paid $23 each for them. So not a great expenditure, but they look like a decent reel to uh, play around with this summer. Nothing too expensive, but I have two older Shakespeare Ugly Sticks. These are the 1100 series. They are 5 foot 6 inch long medium action spinning sticks. Uh, that's what I'm going to be using these reels on. They both come in a nice sturdy box. Um, they both come wrapped in a plastic bag. As you can see right here with an instruction manual, extra washers in there for your playing with your drag or setting your reel up. If you want to set it up with line more forward coming off your reel or it or coming off the back like it's piled up more in the back, thinner to the front or coned from the front to the back. They come from the manufacturer set in what they call position A, which is an even, even wind. When you load your line on, it will be even uh, column up and down the spool. They also come with a great little instruction manual here with an exploded view. All of the red items on this list right there in the diagram are what they consider a ball bearing or bearings. So when you actually look at this and it tells you that it has 10 bearings, not all 10 bearings are in the gearing system itself. Some are in the handle, some are in the bale option itself. So if I'm looking at this picture, one, two, three, four, five, six, I would consider this really a six bearing reel inside the actual mechanism that, that takes care of that. The uh, comes in with instructions in English and many other languages. I actually read through this whole uh, section here. It was pretty, uh, pretty informative. It tells you how to lube, how to store, how to switch the handles, how to adjust your drag, all the other great things with it. Just give you an up close look at how this reel looks manufactured. There's most of your info right there. 12 pound braid, 400 yards. I'll read out all the rest of the specs in a minute here when I put this reel down. It feels fairly robust. I think it weighs about eight ounces. I think it says 8.6 ounces, but uh, not a bad looking little reel. It feels pretty good in the hand. Let me put this on a rod and I'll be right back. Here we go. She, I got her mounted onto a rod and she's pretty quiet. Spins quite nice. Not very loud. So far I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with how it feels on the rod. It's uh, very well balanced and I'm gonna spool this up. One's gonna get spooled I believe in eight pound mono and then the other one I'm gonna spool in 10 pound braid so I can really compare the two while out jigging for a walleye. I forgot to mention earlier that these are the 2000 models. So it's the Flame 2000. Um, it claims to have 10 bearings. Uh, 5.2 to 1 gear ratio, which will give you 25.2 inches of line pickup per turn of the handle. Maximum drag is 13.2 pounds, which is 6 kgs. And it weighs eight and a half ounces total. It'll hold five pounds, uh, five pound monofilament. It'll hold 330 yards. Um, eight pounds, it'll hold 60 yards. It'll hold 12 pound braid, 400 yards, and 10 pound braid at 70 yards. So stay tuned. I'm going to spool these bad boys up. 
Here they are all spooled up. This one obviously has the monofilament spooled onto it. This one here has the braid. I'm going to uh, go out and do some jigging sometime this week. So look for part two of this. This is how we do it on the Detroit River. That's going to be the two, my two go-to hookups from last year. These two, the wine dot worm in the back over here and the uh, finesse minnow over on this one. Both of these were both killers last year on the Detroit River for me. So if you guys like these type of videos and you want to see more, hit like, hit subscribe. And if you see me out in the Sylvan Sea Monster on the Detroit River, yell out to me and uh, we'll hook up and have a good time. You guys stay safe. Take a kid out fishing. Remember, like, subscribe. Leave a comment down below.